the Museum of Science and Industry. Here you can create a bolt of lightning, discover the scientific revelation that is 3D printing, and learn all about your health and body. But it doesn't stop there. With over 450 different hands-on activities, Mosey has the biggest science center in the southeastern United States. I'm Brianna McKinney, and I'll be your guide to the wonderful world of science. This establishment has been open since 1982, and their purpose remains the same to expose science to all age groups, creating a vibrant community. Mosey's board of directors began planning to relocate Mosey to downtown Tampa. The new facility is to preserve and improve their mission as to provide a unique blend of fun learning for the community of future generations. The new Mosey is going to take about five years to build, so in the meantime, this Mosey will remain open to the public. experienced winds up to 78 miles per hour, got up close and personal with a lightning bolt, and saw how flexible I was. You can experience all of this and more for just under $30. Mosey is for everyone. You don't have to love science to have a fun-filled educational day. Now, I'm going to head back to the car to see where we're going next. Listen up, detectives. That fiendish fiend, Carmen San Diego, is on the run and terrorizing our campus. Be on high alert and get me Carmen San Diego. You think you can catch me? First, you'll have to find me. <laughs> One, two, three. Well, five. she sneaks around the school, stealing stuff from every subject. She's a sticky fingered student who likes the metal all the time. And just as soon as you can find her, she steal your backpack and your binder. Tell me where in the school is Carmen San Diego. She goes from classroom to classroom, disrupting the teaching. Her only good grade is from being a thief. When it comes to the wrong bad, she's number one from any angle. Tell me where in the school is Carmen San Diego. You know what they say. An apple a day keeps the teachers away. Or at least, that's how I say it. No teachers, no learning. Oh, is that really what you want? Oh, you're trying to find them? <laughs> I thought you might. But tell me, how many teachers are missing? And how well do you know the faculty? I'll be waiting. to catch the big game, maybe watch all your favorite players on campus compete. You'll be waiting a long time since I have all your precious players. Will they ever play again? That's up to you. Can you find them? Well, do you even know how many sports teams there are? Well, if you don't, better find out. The clock is ticking. Uh, The only grade I need is for being so bad. But what about the precious grades of your seniors? Tests, scores, report cards, oh, all of them are so tempting to steal. Oh, but what's that you say? Your seniors need those records to graduate. <laughs> so true. Well, if you ever wish to find me, which you won't, you have to know which records I've stolen. And tell me, how exactly do you graduate? Fantastic job, detectives. We have Carmen San Diego, and our school is back to normal. You may have caught me this time, but can you do it again? It doesn't matter how you learn, just L E.
biology In accent, French or government So what is all your betterment? It's not as hard as it may seem To learn heads on or visually So when you're in your class today Just listen, cause go learn that way I'm here at Just Dance, a family-owned dance studio located at 124 South Kentucky Avenue, right here in Lakeland. Over the past few weeks, I've taken part in four dance lessons that includes salsa, ballet, hip-hop, and ballroom dancing. Now start stretching, because today I'll be teaching you two of my favorite dances that I learned. In my first class, I learned part of a routine that covers the basic footwork of this spicy dance style known as salsa. The basic step, the spin, the basic side step, and the crossbody change is what I will be teaching you right now. The basic step is simple. Your right foot is going to go behind you, then your left foot is going to go out in front of you, then you just repeat the same steps and you've got it. Take your left foot and bring it forward to the right and then back together. Remember to shift your body as you bring your left foot around you. Now you've completed the spin. The side step is just like the basic step, but instead of moving back and forth, you're just going to go side to side. Last but not least, the cross body change. Bring your left foot back, but then bring it forward to cross over your left. Then you're just gonna step completely back and you've completed the cross body change. Hip hop was my final dance class. In this class, they taught me part of their brand new choreo, and now I'm gonna teach it to you. First, your right foot is going to go back, and then your arms are going to swing behind you as you bend down. Then, you're going to roll your body twice, bringing your right foot up slightly each time you roll. Then, as you push your arms out, cross them, bring them back, and swing your right arm around you as you spin yourself around. Place your right hand on your head and extend your left, then switch. Bring your arms down and snap. If you're interested in the art of dance, then Just Dance is the perfect place for you. This studio holds multiple classes Monday through Saturday in any genre of your choice. If you would like to join one, then sign up at smilejustdance.com. Reporting for Ignition TV, I'm Brianna McKinney. Welcome back to So You Think You Can Graduate with your host, Brianna McKenney. Welcome back to everyone's favorite show, So You Think You Can Graduate. We're on the final round and we have our three remaining seniors and they're ready for the ultimate test. So let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant has passed every class they've ever taken with straight A's and has had perfect attendance all four years. So, you think you can graduate? Well. Of course, I mean, I work hard to be here every single day and I make the best grades and I always come to tutoring in the meetings. And Thank you. And now, let's meet our second contestant. She's very much into the arts and has spent most of her elective time studying drama and she loves being the center of attention. So, you think you can graduate? Of course I do, darling. Who wouldn't want someone like me to walk across the stage? Why, without me, there would be no reason to even turn on the lights at the ceremony. Humble as always. <laughs> now let's meet our third contestant. His attendance isn't great and neither his grades, but he's here nevertheless. So, we ask you the question. Do you think you can graduate? It's whatever. Whatever? Yeah, I mean, I took all my classes. They were boring, but can we get this over with? Now it's time to see if our seniors are actually ready to graduate. Contestant number one, I have your results right here. 
It looks like you'd be the perfect candidate for graduation. Of course I am. I mean, I'm perfect in everything I do. Uh-oh. I'm afraid you're not. <gasps> Excuse me? It looks like in all your hurry to get those honors and AP classes, you missed an elective. P.E. What? P.E.? Do you have any idea how much training it takes to carry around these books all day? <sighs> Even though you might not want to take it for more than one year, it's still a requirement that every student has one year of P.E. credit. Without this, you aren't ready to graduate. Aww. Contestant number two, let's see if your high school performance has earned you a standing ovation. I always get a standing ovation. That may be so, but in all of your productions, did you ever stop to take an online class? You mean like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? <laughs> Please, I'm the reason why people are even on Snapchat. You're also the reason why you won't be graduating. <gasps> now you have a majority of your required credits, but you're missing an online class. Now there are many available, from history and English to foreign language and even driver's education. But without that online class, it'll be curtains for you. Aww. With two of our seniors not walking the stage, it's all up to contestant number three. I can't believe this. That's impossible. I don't believe it. Me either, but here we go. Wow, you've actually taken every class you need in order to graduate. No! Cool. Can I go now? But it seems that we have some upsetting news. What? While you did take every class necessary, you didn't keep your grades up. Whatever. You need a 2.0 GPA to graduate, and you've fallen just short of that. Aww. It's tough luck for our seniors here in the studio, but for those of you watching at home, there's still time to play. Remember, in order to graduate, you must have four math and English credits, three science and history credits, and a total of eight electives, including two foreign language, one PE credit, and one fine or performing arts credit. I hope this helps you get on the right track. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time as we ask you again. So, you think you can graduate?